Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady. I am Suzanne Mulholland and on today's, um, on today's video I am going to show you uh, what's in the shops with my little basket. And we are talking about some marinades that are in the shops and I have some leftover chicken that I bought and haven't used so we're going to marinade some chicken. Now um, on The Batch Lady channel I am going to show you um, how to make fast, simple, freezeable easy meals that you can come home from work and have a meal ready to put on the table with no washing up and today is no exception. So let's get batching. Okay, so I bought this chicken and I'm going away tonight and I don't know what to do with it. Um, I've got plenty of ideas of what to do with it but it needs done right now and I'm leaving in 15 minutes. So I was in Lidl and I found some spiracha and lime marinade. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. And I also found a lemon and herb marinade. And I picked these up a while ago, actually. So they had them in in the summer. I don't know if they've still got them in. I am trying to do it sort of week by week and let you see exactly what they've got in at the moment. And they're really cute tubs, look. I don't know if you can see. Can you see above there? There you go, look. So you take out your spices. This is a lemon and herb one. And you simply pour it into your lovely little container. Now this costs 99 pence, I think I'd pay that for this container actually. Um, so, there we go, you put it back on. So if you're ever stuck and you've bought some chicken, like we all have, and uh, you really don't know what to do with it, then the best thing to do, um, if, well, if you're in a hurry and you think I'm not gonna use it for a meal, is just slice it into thin slices. These chicken breasts are quite big, so you can probably actually chop the slice slightly in half. And I use them for things like um, chicken Caesar salad. I use them to make a meal on top of things like this. Um, coriander and lemon couscous, because they only take about, oh, you just put some hot water in and they take literally minutes. So, um, especially these huge big chicken breasts. So there's two chicken breasts already, okay? So I have labeled my bag. Um, this one is spiracha and lime, so let's do that one first. So I'm going to put, now I'm just thinking, if there's four of us and we're going to eat this, then two chicken breasts will cover four people because we're also going to have them, they're quite big chicken breasts these, and we're going to have them with couscous and some salad on the side. So all I'm going to do is throw in a bit of this dry rub. I don't actually think we need much of it, so we'll just try that at the moment. And... Just give it a really good stir round. Now, it's a great idea, this, because it's another meal that's in your freezer, okay? Especially what I do is I write in the bag what I'm going to serve it with. So I know, for instance, that's going to sit in the freezer and by the time it defrosts as well, and that marinade is going to have worked its way all the way through that chicken. Now, because I've written on the bag exactly what I'm going to use it with, so this barracha, I think, would go nice with Moroccan medley couscous, okay? So I've put that in the bag. The couscous will go back in the cupboard. My chicken will get laid flat with all the air out of it. And I know I'm just making a quick salad when I come in to do that, okay? Now this next one, what I want to show you as well, sorry, I'd see if you've ever got huge chicken breasts and you're doing a meal that requires a chicken breast. I always end up with a bit left over because that is a big chicken breast and I don't need this little section that comes at the back as well. I've got one here because I had it left over and I knew I was going to end up using it for something. So if you see, by the time you take off that extra bit of that chicken breast, someone still has a whole chicken breast and you actually end up with pretty much another chicken breast out of it. So if you've got a family of five, you might want to do this and serve the little ones the smaller bits or something like that. Now, for many of us, this packet of chicken would have had to go in the bin if we left it any longer, okay? That has taken me a couple of minutes and we have another two meals to go in the freezer with absolutely no waste. Thank you for watching The Batch Lady. Please log on www.thebatchlady.com onto my website where you will get all free recipes and be able to watch any videos or you can find me on YouTube.